What's up, College Station? My name is Grace Hollowell, and today I'm joined with Miss Shalita Johnson, and we have a very special guest today, Mr. Pat Cottontail. Hi, guys. Hello. <laughs> How are you doing? I'm doing well. Thank you both so much for being here today. Yes. We have a very exciting episode of What's Up today. <laughs> yes, we do. Um, to talk about the Easter extravaganza yep. at yep. the Lincoln Center. Yes, yes. Um, it's hard to believe it's just next week. Um, but the Lincoln Center will host its annual Easter egg extravaganza on Thursday, April the 6th, starting at 5.30 to 7.30 p.m. It's for ages 10 and under, but all are welcome to come. Now, I don't want people to be too disappointed because it's not the traditional egg hunt. Right. Okay? So every child participant will get a bag of eggs to take home with them and do their own hunt. Sometimes that's a little better because those, those egg hunts can get a little chaotic. Yes, and intense. Intense, yes. Yes, <laughs> yes. And so everyone will be able to get eggs uh, along with some coloring sheets in their bag and some other little treats. But we will have different activities and games that will be sponsored by different agencies within the city, within Brazos Valley. And then other games that's age appropriate. Um, just a time for everybody to have a great time to get ready for the Easter weekend. Yes, and Mr. Pat Cottontail will be there for photos, correct? Yes, he will be there for photos with our photo booth. So it will be inside one of the buildings, so make sure you look for the sign that says photo booth, and it will direct you to where Mr. Pat Cottontail will be. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Well, in addition to the egg hunt, what else is going on at the Lincoln Center? Oh, it's, it's, it's that time of season. You know, the Parks Department is getting ready for a very exciting and fun summer, and so summer registration starts April the 3rd, and so that that's what we are getting ready for is summer programming. Um, it's a host of things that's going on besides that. Um, our seniors have the Mother's Day event getting ready to take place in May. Um, but just definitely check out the website because I don't want to miss anything. So check out the website and the website will tell you everything that's going on at the Lincoln Center and within our department. Right. So cstx.gov slash Lincoln Center. That is correct. Yes. But the most important Important thing I want people to know if you have a 16 year old that's looking for a job yes we are hiring for the summer so please go to the city of college steps city of college station website and and apply for recreation assistant positions yes it's a very very fun opportunity yes um, it is you get to have fun outside yes. and, and and be be that, yes. that, that person for a child yes or yes whoever it may be yes and, be that hero. Yes. Be that hero for the summer. Right. Um, because we are looking for well-rounded staff that's willing to engage, to have fun, be compassionate, and just let that inner child come out and have fun, regardless of the temperature, because we never know what Texas is going to bring. Right. That is for sure. <laughs> so we just, that's what kind of people we're looking for. 16 and up. Sorry, 15-year-olds. But you got to be 16 to, to work for the City of College Station. So taking it back to Easter, yes. uh, what is your favorite Easter memory from growing up? I know mine Ooh. was maybe seeing a relative of yours, Mr. <laughs> Pat Cottontail, um, and getting to get my photo with the Easter bunny yes. and, you know, dying eggs, stuff like that. I, I guess mine was just spending time. I grew up in the country, and so spending time with my grandmother. And back then, we dyed eggs yes. the old-fashioned way. We dyed eggs, and just doing that, I don't know if you had to do Easter speeches, but we used to have to do Easter speeches at church. Okay. And so that's one of my favorite memories of getting in front of people and saying my speech, doing the egg hunt, and getting ready for that Sunday. Because we always had a new dress, a hat, and a shoes. bath, shoes, yeah. everything. So <laughs> those were some of my favorite memories of Easter. So, yes. Awesome. Well, yes, it's a, a special time to connect with family yes. and have fun and yes. celebrate springtime. Yes, definitely. Family food and fellowship. Yes. That's what I call it. Um, but as far as the Easter event at the Lincoln Center, I know it's not a lot of parking at the Lincoln Center. 
And so um, the, a lot on Eleanor and Thompson will be open for parking. And then make sure you park on the right side of the street. Do not park in front of the signs that says no parking. Right. Follow the traffic signs. Please, please. And if there's no games at the baseball field, the Wayne Smith uh, at complex, then guests will be able to park over there as well. Yes, parking is very important. <laughs> yes, yes. So the event, again, is from 5.30 to 7.30. And so I'm keeping my fingers for great weather. Yes. But if not, the event still will take place inside. All right, rain or shine. Rain or shine, we're going to have the event. Okay. Yes. Well, is there anything else you'd like to share with us? Uh, no, just want people to come out, celebrate, get ready for the Easter weekend, check out the website because the, the parks department is getting ready to start rocking and rolling. Yes. And we want our community to get involved. So check out the website. Uh, go on Facebook, all the social media outlets where the City of College Station is a part of. Click on it, like it, do whatever you need to do so you can see what's going on within the city of college station yes stay informed definitely definitely well thank you so much for being here and thank you pat cottontail yes thank you pat and that's what's up